In this clip I'll talk through three of Edexcel's logarithm questions. Uh, we're going to start with 2006 May, then we'll go on to 2005 January and then 2009 January. So 2006 May is what's on the screen at the moment and it's question three. The question says write down the value of log to base 6, 36. Now any question which says write down is going to be dead easy, it's only worth one mark. Basically they're just seeing whether you know what this means. Well 6 squared is 36 so the answer is 2. Next, express 3 log to base a of 3 plus log to base a of 11 as a single logarithm to base a. So basically we're just using the laws of logarithms here. First law of logarithms is that if there's a number on the outside here you can bring it into the logarithm as a power. So that becomes log 3 squared. So we end up with log of 3 squared add log 11. Log of 3 squared is log of 9. Add log 11. Adding two logarithms you is multiplying them in, in one logarithm. Uh, I've not explained that terribly well, but basically log a plus log b is log a times b. So log 9 plus log 11 is log 9 times 11, which is log to base a 99. And that's the answer. So four marks for that. Now to 2005 uh, January, I think. Yeah, January. Uh, fine, giving three significant figures, so I'm going to need, need to use the calculator here. 3 to the power x equals 5. Now, this basically is the same statement as saying um, log to base 3 of 5 is x. I'll just show, show where that comes from. Taking logarithms of both sides, we'll end up with log uh, to base 10 of 3 to the power x. 3 to the power x, we can take the x out to make that, equals log to base 10 of 5. Now the reason I've chosen base 10 as the base of logarithms here is because that's what the calculator button has. And then I divide down here to get x equals log of 5 divided by log of 3. Let's see what that is. Uh, log of 5 divided by log of 3 equals 1.46. Two, three significant figures. 1.46. And looking at what the question is asking, 3 to the power 1.46 sounds like it probably is 5. 3 squared is 9, so sounds about right. Secondly, log to base 2 of this minus log to base 2 of that equals 2. The first thing to do is to combine these into one logarithm. Then we can unlog both sides. Combine them into one logarithm. Well, log a minus log b is log a divided by b. So we end up with log to base 2 of 2x plus 1 over x equals 2. Now take 2 to the power both sides which is equivalent to basically unlogging to base 2. 2 to the power of this gets rid of that and 2 to the power of this gives us 2 squared which is 4. Then bring in the x up to this side. I don't want to do too much writing, but we end up with 2x plus 1 equals 4x. If 2x plus 1 equals 4x, then we get uh, 2x equals 1. So I think x is a half. Um, yeah, 2x equals 1. Yeah. Uh, just check that x equals a half works. We end up with log 3 minus log a half should be 2. Is that right? So log 2, yeah, log 2, which is 1, minus log a half, which is minus 1, it does indeed equal 2, so that's right. And finally, the most recent question from January 2009, was the most recent when I did this, uh, in fact this looks like the same sort of question as the last one, we've got two logarithms to the same base, we need to use the laws of logarithms to combine them as 1, and then unlock both sides. So, using log to base 5, I won't write to base 5, just assume that's what I mean. It saves a bit of time. Actually, I should do, so I will. don't want to get into bad habits. Log to base 5 of 4 minus x over, this would be x squared if you bring the 2 inside the logarithm. So that's over x squared equals 1. Unlog both sides, which is 5 to the power of both sides. That gets rid of the logarithm from this side and makes this 5 to the power 1. Then bring the x squared up here. We get 4 minus x equals 5x squared. 
which then simplifies to make 5x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0 and now we've got a quadratic now I thought it was strange when they say that given that x is between 0 and 4 no doubt we're going to get two solutions to this and only one of them is going to be in the right range so whip out a calculator we get minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac so minus 1 plus or minus root b squared is 1 minus 4ac 4ac is 80 so 81 actually that means it should be able to factorise divide by 2a so divide by 10 we get those are the two solutions so minus 1 plus 9 which is 8 over 10 right as a decimal if you will or the other solution is minus 1 minus 9 which is minus 10 over 10 which is minus 1 and that clearly doesn't work so 0 0.8 should be the answer